Welcome back everyone to episode 17 of Let's Play Rule the Waves as Germany. The German-Japanese, I should say, Japanese-German War has come to an end. Um, this is right on the uh, end, right at the end of a battle where my light cruiser Thetis was sunk by one of their old Japanese battles. Uh, magazine eruption. <laughs> so, you know, you, you get lucky sometimes, but you also don't get lucky sometimes. We'll go ahead and take Southern Korea. That's a very valuable. Uh, could take Formosa, which would just give us more in Southeast Asia, but uh, let's focus on Southern Korea because that'll take away more of that. I mean, it's just more valuable, so we have the value to get it. Let's take it. Boom! Southern Korea is now ours. So although we should have a reduced budget, technically we should also have an increased budget because Southern Korea is providing us with some colony income. Now, unfortunately, it's probably time for us to return a lot of our ships to Northern Europe. Once you win a war in um, the Asian theater, typically it's usually, I mean, we've already won two huge provinces, right? We won Annam, and we've taken Southern Korea now. So basically, there's probably nothing to worry about in uh, Northeast Asia, unless we fight Russia or we fight Japan. Really don't think we'll fight Japan. We could fight uh, the British. I'm not sure we're ready for that. It's probably going to be just as in our last Let's Play series. That'll be the the, the final battle, the boss fight. <laughs> so we'll save that for probably like around 1925. Um, so so far so good. I, I just want to remind us that we're playing with a historical budget, which means that although Japan and Italy, basically everyone else is also kind of um, greatly reduced in capability. We are significantly greatly reduced, significantly greatly, that didn't make sense. We are also ourselves reduced quite a bit in budget, especially compared to the United Kingdom. So, so Britain, England's going to be a tough one. Let's see. I've increased our bases in uh, the Indian Ocean. I'm just kind of sick of them always complaining. So now we have 50, and I'm getting an increase in West Africa, just in case I ever fight France or England. I would like the ability to base a considerable force over there. Kind of what I feel like would be a great natural next opponent would be Italy. Italy doesn't really have any um, colonial holdings, except for, um, luckily for us, they have one in the Indian Ocean, uh, Djibouti. Uh, it's called, I mean it is Ethiopia, but it's called Eritrea here. So, And it wouldn't be, we wouldn't be so uh, annoyed if we were able to take over like Sicily or Sardinia. Um, that would give us a line, a connecting line, all the way through. And that wouldn't be so terrible. It's another place we'd have to put foreign stations, ships on foreign station, so, but other than that. Great, great. Anyways, uh, the main point is, hey, we won the war. <laughs> that was the important thing. I want everyone who's not everyone who's not currently in Northern Europe to return to Northern Europe. It's going to probably, I don't know what our situation is, in fact, with how many do we need? So, for example, the Indian Ocean, we have extras. Let's go by location and just do it by location, I guess. So, in Southeast Asia, if we remove all those, do we have enough? Let's see. These are 16,000 tons each. Oh, where am I? Yeah. So this is a uh, 48. If I lose 48 from Southeast Asia, yeah, we'll still be positive. So good, let's send all those guys away. Um, let's also send my in Northeast Asia. How many do we have to spare in Northeast Asia? 56,000. I don't think we have that many in Northeast Asia because we you know, had some problems with the those guys. We only have two, right? So two, that's definitely these guys can move back to Northern Europe as well. So let's we'll just wait for that to happen and kind of take stock of the situation after that. Just making sure that we don't have anybody over the limit, but we've increased the bait size. I think I'm also currently increasing. Yeah, I'm increasing on arms base size as well. So it's probably something to be said about us building coastal fortifications at different areas, but um, I suspect, I'm always hoping that our fleet superiority will prevent any invasions. Um, otherwise, it's nice to have coastal fortifications because in the newer versions now, um, they do prevent enemy invasions, which is nice. 
So let's get those guys to our home area so that they reduce their kind of monstrous, <laughs> monstrous maintenance. We could use a bit of a reduction on this, but the moment you're not at war, these are not as high. So I, I seem to recall these being almost in the 600,000s, if I'm not mistaken, so. Yep, 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 let's continue pushing on. All right, and now we're basically just waiting for some kind of technology jump in order to build the new, the new stuff we want. In fact, because I don't think there's any point in waiting too much longer, we're gonna have to start building some new light cruisers for the next fight, and I want a lot. I want a lot of these guys. So with the current situation, we have four um, torpedoes. I like that. We are still going to use the six-inch guns. We didn't get director firing for our um, light cruisers quite yet. That's okay. These ones will actually have mines. I still have no idea how to use mines, but um, it looks like because, I don't know. But let's see if we can get maybe three-inch turrets on this guy. Yeah, that's, that's a good start. I'm not going to increase the range too long um, we, because we basically control most of the bases around the world, there's no point for us to do long range. We're gonna be close to a port almost anywhere we go. So what is the, what's, where do we need to increase the efficiency of this design? I mean, I was thinking of trying to sneak in two, three inch guns that increases their capability of dealing with, um, no, I think I would rather add another gun along the center line. One, two, three, four, five. Can we add another one? I'm not even sure we can. Uh, or maybe at center line, can we just go ahead and add two more turrets? That's probably not gonna happen. What happens if we add a midship? Okay, so we can get that, but do we have too many? No, what the heck? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can get a seven-sided broadside off with this. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, well, I mean, if we were doing, let's do turret top 1.5, that's gonna be too much. But we can probably get away with deleting these two guys then, D and E. Can we add this one? Is this the one that faces backwards though? Because I don't like that one. Yeah, and we cannot do one more. So let's delete that guy again. Looks really ugly in my opinion, anyway. So let's put these two back. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know if we need the seventh. It's probably better for us to better protect our ship rather than adding more firepower. Actually, can these add surface mounts yet? No, not quite yet, I think. Well, what about, what do we clear the mounts? Yeah, they're all saying sub, okay, yeah. So uh, let's go back and do this. We'll say two per, it's only gonna let us have one, of course. <laughs> I just wanted to check though. All right, fine, fine. So let's eliminate the center line or the midships one because that one faces backwards, delete. Now we have three that face forward, three that face backward. Hmm, okay, well that's, that's fine. Now what are we gonna do with this extra? We don't need to increase the speed for sure. Maybe we'll get our turret top up to two. Yeah, that's nice. How much for deck? Way too much. Conning tower? Could use a high, better conning tower. Increase the uh, ammo a little bit just because eventually we'll want to decrease the, the ammo in order to fit in director firing. And now I guess we could, no, I, don't, I just don't like this. As we're able to fire better and better, it's better to just let your six inch guns ravage everything. So maybe we'll just leave the ship just how it is. Everything's okay. Am I missing anything? Hmm. The deck is gonna be, uh, the deck being low is a bit of a problem. I'm increasing the turret top and the turret just because I did have a Thetis design, which I mentioned this already, but the magazine blew up when it got hit in the turret. So I was a little upset about that. Well, fair enough. This is a good design for, good enough design I, perhaps is what I should say. So we'll build one of these. Ah, uh, they're a million per month. Low maintenance cost though, I like that. So let's get, ooh, well, let's just design one for now because we don't have the money. Uh-huh. Is it time for us to scrap any of our ships? I did talk about doing that a little bit more. Hmm. It's a pretty good design still. 
really not so terrible. Hey, we got our battle cruisers. That's good. <laughs> the Kaiser wants to reduce finance for the Navy to build a new palace and a luxurious yacht for the head of state. What do you do? I think we know what we're going to do here. <laughs> I like this one though, of course, the Navy will be happy to man the new yacht. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we really don't need the prestige. But we really don't need to lower the tensions either, so let's just do that. We're getting those battle cruisers, which is going to greatly reduce our, um, our feet. By the way, off camera, I think they uh, asked us if we wanted to build another battle cruiser. So since these are going to be coming very quickly, I'm going to start building preemptively some more light cruisers. Let's get five more. Okay, Russian government, they are not gonna pose any threat for us, so we'll sell everything to them. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, the good news is, there is there's definitely some good news. These will ask to extend their construction by one month to, to be completed with this, um, with the better fire control technology. It's just funny that that ha always happens. So let's just get three more, even if I put them on hold, because I want them to all be the same design, so when I upgrade one, I upgrade all of them. Okay, new docks complete. That's a huge increase to our dock size. All right. But we could get quality one 10 inch guns. Ah, I'll take it. I always like to take those guns. Okay, quadruple turrets, completely unnecessary. Machinery saving, that's fine. I'm not, I don't really care that we missed out on that. Let's see where our ships are at as far as when they're gonna become old. So it's 1916 and our ship design was all probably redone around, yeah, these are 1908. So let's go ahead and upgrade our minesweepers and get those done first. Again, for our minesweepers, we'll never do anything. We just save it as a new design. Oh, what? So you can get Central Range Finder for free. Okay, well, if it's free, free is free. Ah, it has no fire control positions. Okay, great. So minus seven. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we're not gonna be getting enough ammo to do this. But we can probably take down the conning tower. Oh, we can't. We could just take off turret armor. They don't allow 0.5 inch increments. So, for better firing, but lack of turret, yeah, I think we're still okay with this. Two tens probably enough. I, these guys don't ever get involved anyway, so mainly they should, let's just try to keep the maintenance on them low. Okay, let me see what the maintenance of this guy is. Uh, it doesn't say. Okay, well, the maintenance is currently 9,000. I don't think it'll be much more than that. So let's rebuild everything. And our monthly balance did increase a little bit more. <laughs> Cutting kind of get a bit close, you know? Oh, the private industry is really kicking up a huge amount. World cruise for our young cadets' plan. What ships should take part? Prestige and tension, some of our ships or some of our older ships, which is budget increase, prestige minus. I might actually do that. Our prestige is so high right now, what I would prefer is budget. So let's do that. Okay, very good. Lots of fun stuff. So these guys were built when? 1912. So these are relatively new. They don't need to be upgraded quite yet. I'm just sad that they don't launch their torpedoes when I want them to. Common lament, probably. And when were these guys built, the Thetis class? I don't remember. Technically, I think I can open the design from a Thetis and find out when. No, no, it won't. It won't do that. Yeah, why can't I? Oh, sorry, I was looking at the wrong category. 1909. So these have to be redone as well. Let's open design for rebuild. 
Okay, we want director firing, and uh, it's going to cost us some ammo, but since they'll be hitting more often, that just does not matter at all. So I guess that's exactly what we do. Add director firing, and slap some more paint on the sides. Okay, good. We'll rebuild that. <laughs> Way better save. Nah, who cares. Whoops. Not that. Rebuild. Okay. Ah. Well, we can do a little trick here. No, it's not it's not going to work. I remember now. We have to be a little careful about what we're doing. Where are we lacking some Wait. Where? We just took the Thetis classes. Those were probably all in Northeast Asia. Let's start by location real fast. So technically Northeast Asia only has this. Yeah, they're definitely missing it there. So The Indian Ocean still has a surplus, so does Southeast Asia. So let's shift everything over. Shift one over to Southeast Asia. Actually, before we do this, let's set her to foreign station. Let's now move her to Southeast Asia. And then we'll take one that's already in Southeast Asia and move her over to Northeast Asia which I think will satisfy the problem. Okay, Torpedo Technology Protection Level 2. Now, where's our foreign station person? Active Fleet, good, so everything's fine. We solved the problem, but we're just barely cutting it in Northeast Asia. Okay, one more turn before we have to start canceling some, or you know, pausing the reconstruction of some ships. Ah, yes. Prestige intention or budget prestige? Well, we want the budget, so. Looks like Italy could be the choice. I would love that. That would be fantastic. Okay, we have a delay. There's some scrapping going on. Okay, that's fine. Oh, yeah, well, of course I have to manage some construction now. Let's delay this Fonderton class a little bit. That should be enough. Let's also delay one of our light cruisers. Should be good. Alright, so light cruisers now have the ability to launch torpedoes from the deck. Would be nice to have that. Yeah, about six months ago. That's okay. The hamburgers are still good. Their speed is above 25, um, but it's fine because we can always slow them down to 25 when we want them to launch torpedoes. So it's good that they have the 28 so that they can try to close on ships first. And then we'll just slow them down to 25 to encourage torpedo launching. Okay. They are all scrapping a bunch of ships, but we haven't done that. Okay, let's think about scrapping. What about these? I just upgraded them, but what about these... Um, Oh, I haven't upgraded them yet, have I? These Gefion classes, are they worth keeping? Ah, they're, they're, they're just such a solid ship and they're long range. I just, I just don't feel like it's a good idea to scrap them. <laughs> we don't have any ships that are really scrap worthy. Uh, well, what? I'll let the comments dictate. Unfortunately, I'm usually uh, a video or two ahead of when I post these onto YouTube, but I would like the comments to dictate. Where, where do you guys think I would... Maybe you guys have helpful advice. Should I just get rid of the old battleships? I mean, they seem pretty good still. They have such good armor. They're, they're better armored than any of my other ships. <laughs> so we have these battle cruisers, which are extremely lightly armored. Glass cannon. This should be the, not the Vonderton class. It should be the glass cannon class. Um, and these even these old dreadnoughts that, uh, you know, the cross-deck fire, I'm, not, I'm no longer going to need that, but... Even these guys are nine and a half, ten and a half. The best armored ships I have are these old ones. Hmm. And these Gefions are still something, right? You still have the five inch broadside. It's pretty good. My new um, 
Hamburg class is barely any better. Just six-sided broadside. Obviously better armor. More torpedoes. They have mines. This will be director firing in the end, but... Okay, so let's pause a few more ships. We need to pause just one more. Okay. Let's halt this construction. I like towing the line like this. It feels more efficient. Okay. Wow, that's a nice battle cruiser, 26 knot. Nine and a half inch belt armor, that seems like a re very reasonable ship. A lot of people are still scrapping some stuff. I, I think we're gonna try to get away without doing that. Italy. Yes, we will criticize the Italians. They're the natural next enemy, so we can just run through a whole bunch of people. I saw some comments on the forum, the official forum for this game, asking for like a slower version, which goes week by week. <laughs> That's interesting. So they want to see uh, the ability basically for wars to not last so long. I, I'm guessing. So that you can try to fight more enemies before 1930. Because I think it's fine to play this game until 1930. 1925 is when it's supposed to stop, but I don't. it doesn't feel unrealistic to play it until 1930. Yep, we'll sell that technology. In fact, we can unpause some of our construction ships now. Which one? Let's get the Leipzig going. Actually, the Vondertum would be more influential to have in battle. Okay. Cameroon. I don't know if that helps us or not. Okay, wants to hold an international naval gathering with a sailing regatta and competition. Less intentions, but lower our budget. I don't think this is a good time for such an event. We want to fight Italy. Uh, that last part, not it's not my official policy, just what I whisper under my breath. Okay, so we're still a little negative. Go ahead and halt this guy again. He's probably not going to be in our next war, which looks like it will be with Italy. Oh, perfect. So we have... Ooh. Oh my gosh. Well, if this is the new Italian battlecruiser, we have our hands... We're going to have our hands full. Look at They copied our exact design. They did the exact same thing. <laughs> they did the... Uh... I really like this superstructure configuration, too. That's really nice. I'm going to have to copy that. They make it so it looks like this is a raised platform. That's that's very nice. Anyway, they did the superimposed only in the front and the rear. They didn't do it. And they also did a lot of six-inch turrets. Yeah, yeah, so it's very similar to my design, except for they have massive belt armor. The good news is ours are probably not that fast, though. What's your speed? 25. We could try to stay at range and launch deck. Just try to hit the deck. Because what's our deck? Two and a half, so we'd have a slight advantage there. I also forgot to look at what caliber the weapons were. Uh, that was silly. Did it say? Uh, I wish I had paid attention to that. Oh well. Can we see, maybe? This is the new one, it's not visible yet. Okay, that's fine. Prestige, tension. Multinational force. I don't think we need the prestige, and I want to control my tension deliberately. So let's take port part in a multinational force. Typically, I like raising tension, but I just want to do it against the nations that um, I want to choose the nations I'm raising my tension with. Oh, this is very nice. This uh, stops us having to lose a lot of ships to neutral ports a lot. I am very thirsty. <laughs> I just realized. Gonna have to call this video to a close soon. Well, it's 25 minutes in, about the right time. So, one more turn. The one more turn mentality is gonna kick in for a little bit. Let's do an international force. Ah, okay. Well, they've taken Mozambique. Oh, increased elevation. That's very nice. We're gonna have to retrofit our ships now to get the increased range. So now we're going to have the option to check this increased elevation. Obviously not for our uh, 
older ships. Well, no, actually, you can retrofit the older ones. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is unacceptable. So they all lose budget. This increases tension and increases prestige, but probably reduces the budget by the least. So let's do that one. Hmm. Oh, wait, we got ourselves a... I wasn't really paying attention. Got ourselves a bit of a surplus. So, resume. Yeah. We need that technology. Triple bottom, very good. So this is going to be very helpful for damage control. Better pre-battle enemy strength assessment. Effective sig int. signal interception. I don't know what sig int means. I'm very naive. Okay, let's see here. Influential industrialist offers to support an increase in the naval budget. Ah, uh, reeks of corruption. Or we'd actually take it this time. Uh, it does lower our prestige. Okay, so it's just free prestige. We'll take the free prestige. We're up to 51. Goodness. Isn't that where I ended my last game? Ah, uh, okay. Well, charging forward. Okay, this is the, seriously two more turns at the most. We'll sell anything to the Japanese. The poor guys are so far behind now. Okay, they just got 13-inch guns. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's going to be helpful for the budget. We will take that. Oh, good. 16-inch guns. Quality zero. So not quality negative one. Whoa, excuse me. Um, that's pretty good. It probably means it's about time. If we had gotten all-or-nothing armor, which I don't think we have yet, I would have considered doing... A new battleship now because it looks like we're going to start having the funds to do so let's unpause this guy so probably the only battleship or battle cruiser class i'll make in this campaign because i can't see i can't foresee us in the next 10 years the next thing we're going to do is want to dump a whole bunch of battleships in. so how are we doing in the let's just take a look at things before i call this episode to a close which i guess i'll do after we look at this in dreadnoughts we're behind US and Russia, but we're doing okay compared to everyone else. Everyone else is kind of, except for Great Britain, is really scrapping their battleships. Uh, let me just take a look at the maintenance we're paying on those real fast. 225. It's the cost of basically two light cruisers, or uh, two of those is one battle cruiser. I would rather one battle cruiser than two of these battleships. That probably should make our decision for us. Hmm. They are 1910, so let's just leave them until the end of the next war and we'll scrap them after that. Because technically right now, they only have central firing. We should be putting director firing on them. Okay, that's actually something we should probably do. How long would it take to put director firing on you guys? If that's the only thing we did. I would like to increase the turret. Uh, you know, turrets, 10.5 isn't bad, actually. <clears throat> How much is it to get this guy? Nope, too much, okay. Yeah, too much. So this isn't terrible, I think. Oh, I could actually remove... What they, I mean, these didn't really seem very effective to me. I don't know if you, you guys thought they were that effective. They didn't seem that effective to me. So we could get a turret 3 out of this, and that... Just barely misses that, but that's fine. Turret top might become more important. We could do increased... Re These are... Are they honestly quality negative one? Yikes. Well, that's not good. Let's wait for quality zero before we do that upgrade. This one's a 1910 as well. I don't... It's a good, it's a good design still. I like it. Oh, whoops. So, sorry. Uh, let's go back to the Almanac. Our Navy. Budget. Tension's fine. Perfect. 
Okay, so we we'll probably need to get some more Dreadnoughts, though. I think it's time, because we're short against... We need to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with another nation, at the very least. Right now, we couldn't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Great Britain, but that's kind of obvious. I think we'd be able to beat Russia. We would not be able to take on the USA. They have an incredible amount of Dreadnoughts. They're a reasonable threat. I mean, I, we don't have any tension with them, which is a good thing, I guess, but they're uh, a nice secondary option for a final boss fight. Yeah. Okay, well, um, we have our work cut out for us. We're very clearly in third place. Great Britain, then USA, then Germany. You might even be able to, you know, make some conjecture that Russia is doing pretty good because they have more dreadnoughts than us. I think our battle cruisers will be able to take down their ships, though. That's just my guess. Anyways, thanks for watching this episode, and stay tuned for whatever may happen in the next. Take care.